Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Carrie and we've got Maria. But don't just sit there, puppets. Come on, let's have some fun. What else do we have, girls? Oh, come on. Oh, no, too big. Put it on, get your hand it. Yeah. Well, we've got Carrie and we've got Maria. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Rebecca with Mickey John. Hello, Mickey John. Wow, what's going on here? <laughs> We're going to a party later and we've been dressing up. Oh, I can hardly recognise you. You look so different. <laughs> oh, why don't you dress Claude up as a fairy? <laughs> Come on then and we'll flutter over here. <laughs> oh, Mickey oh, 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 you keep me a fright. I'm having a spooky party in my class at school and we're dressing up too. <laughs> we're going to a party later as well. Are you dressing up? Well, of course. What are you going at? It's a secret. I don't want the children to find out. My lips are sealed. <laughs> All right, then. I've got a fun fur coat here. Very nice. <laughs> oh. oh, Mickey John, use your imagination. I'm a bear. Oh, oh, help. <laughs> shh, 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 shh. Sorry. Well, you look at Claude. Oh, <laughs> oh. Lord, you look magical. <laughs> well done, you guys. That's for you. Oh, what's this? Oh, that looks really spooky. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks, Rebecca. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. Now remember, use your imagination. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. You keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today. Walking my shoes through the city views. Stepping along and swinging my arms. Singing my way through the city's charms. Getting there is just so fine. I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! Okay, right, to the school I'm on my way to work today Looking this way and that away. Hello, Ali. Hello, doors. Hello, steeple. Hello, walls. Hello, people. It's on his way to work today. Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! Okay, that way. Up! You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Here I am. Now what? Thanks. I need to put my tie on. All snazzy and ready to go. I'll just get myself sorted out before the bell goes. Hi, Mickey John. Hello, you, spooky woo. <laughs> I just popped in to let you know I'll be along later for the spooky party. Oh, great. 
Have you got a costume? Yeah, I've got a great costume. I'm coming as Count Spatula. Oh, spooky Kaluki. I can't wait to see it. I'm really looking forward to it. Me too. See you later. Bye. <laughs> I wonder how my Rebecca's getting on. I love to skip in River Sea Ping, River Sea Ping, go by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Ping, go River Sea Ping, go that's for me. Oh, hello. Bye bye, Rebecca. Oh, have a lovely day. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could be a flag in the wall and see Rebecca at nursery. Sometimes, down, take the face away. That's it. Take it down so I can see. Good. Are you working hard, Daddy? Sit down quietly now. Morning. <laughs> Hello. All settled. Lovely. I think we should start the day with our woo times table. Are you all ready? Yeah. One times two woo. Woo is two. Two times two woo. Woo is four. Three times two woo. Woo is six. Four times two woo. Woo is eight. Five times two woo. Woo is ten. Six times two woo. Woo is twelve. Seven times two woo. Woo is fourteen. Eight times two, woo! woo. Is 16. Nine times two, woo! woo is 18. Ten times two, woo! woo is ah, well done, everyone. That was brilliant. Right, time to get on with some hard work. Oh, oh, oh. With joy when I go to school in the morning, teaching with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I teach it. Teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. Teaching to count and teaching to read. Learn about birds and plants and seeds. Playing games and sports outdoors. Blowing my whistle and keeping a score. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. Secretary smiling as she does her organising. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps us shining. Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning. Holding the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew. Answering the questions where and why. How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. Children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, I want to enjoy when I go to school in the morning. Spooky time. And woo hoo hoo oh, to you. Oh. Woo. It is I, Count Spatula. Woo ha 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 ha. Woo? It's me, Raymond, you fool. Oh, Raymond. You look great. Thanks. So where's the party going to be? Here. Oh, well, I hope you're going to get the place looking really spooky. Oh, of course. I'm going to get some pumpkins from Rudy's stall. Oh, good idea. Well, you best be quick, because there's a bit of a rush on for pumpkins, and I'm in a bit of a rush myself. See you later. Ooh. Right, well, I'd better get off to the market. I wonder how Rebecca's getting on at her party. I'm thinking of you, Daddy. See you later. Come on, folks, get yourself a bunch of bananas for just Hi, a pound. Oh, hello, Mickey John. How are you doing? Oh, great, thanks. I'm in a bit of a hurry, though. Getting ready for the spooky party. <laughs> oh, I won't keep you, then. What can I get for you? A dozen pa Potatoes? Oh, we got some lovely potatoes in. How many was it? Uh, none, thanks, Rudy. Just some... Plums? Oh, my favourite. 
We've got some lovely Victoria plums in. Was it one pullet or two? None. None? Are you sure? They're very nice. I don't want any plums. I just want pumpkins. Pumpkins? Well, why didn't you say so, man? A dozen pumpkins, please. <gasps> got no pumpkins. Sorry, Mickey John. I've just sold the last one. Oh, no. Sold out? I've been working hard getting ready for the spooky party, and I haven't got the one thing to make the party really spooky. A pumpkin. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped off Rebecca at Granny Murray's. The children were busy finding costumes for the party at the nursery. We had a bit of spooky fun and the children dressed Claude up as a fairy. At eight o'clock, Raymond came to visit me. He was in a spooky mood. Later on, the children and I had some spooky fun learning the times table. At twelve o'clock, I was starting to decorate the classroom when I had another visit from Raymond. This time, as Count Spatula. Ooh. He told me I needed to get a move on if I was going to get any pumpkins from the market. At one o'clock, I arrived at the market. I wanted to buy a dozen pumpkins for my spooky party. But Rudy had sold out. Now remember, use your imagination. Use my imagination? Hmm. Ah. Well, I suppose I could imagine that this looks a bit like a pumpkin. <laughs> you found something you want there, Mickey John? Yes. A dozen of your best turnips, please. <laughs> Twelve turnips coming up. Right, let's get the classroom looking really spooky. It's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I gotta beat the clock before the chime. I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it. I gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Almost ready to party. Just got to put my costume on. Ooh, I'm Thai man. <laughs> oh, look at you lot. Come on in, come on in. <laughs> come on, sit yourselves down. Ooh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, this place looks great. Really spooky. <laughs> oh, thanks, Raymond. Uh, I mean, uh, Count Spatula. <laughs> and who are you? Oh, I'm uh, Thai Man. Ooh. <laughs> ah, cool. <laughs> hey. Okay. Now. Listen up. There once was an old, old house. And in the old, old house, there was an old, old room. And in the old, old room, there was an old, old clock. And next to the old clock sat an old man. And in the old man's lap, there was an old cat. And under the chair hobbled an old mouse. In the old, old house. Then suddenly, the old man sat up and they all had a party! Hey, hey. Hey. Come on, get up, let's have you! <laughs> Come on, over here, there's more room! Come on, over here, over here! Come on, let's see what you can do, I know you can dance! Oh, I hope you're having as much fun as we are, Rebecca! <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> oh, Rebecca, your daddy would laugh if he could see us now, wouldn't he? I miss your daddy. Mickey John, come away. Look who's here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, how are you, my friend? Have you had a lovely time? Yes. Oh, you oh. bet we have, eh? 
Say thank you to Granny Murray. Come here, my darling. Oh, good girl. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying, use your imagination, save the day. Well, I never did. Come on now, you'd better be off here. Eh? Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shearing, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things. really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a fairy because we were all finding costumes for a spooky party. <laughs> Mickey John arrived with Rebecca and we had some spooky fun. <laughs> Later on, Rebecca got dressed up in her fancy dress costume and then at our party, I put on my bear costume and then the children had great fun running away from the big bear. Then we played apple catching. We all discovered how hard it is to eat an apple without using your hands. Mickey John used his imagination and had a spooky time at his party at the school. I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has one at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Junior. But don't just sit there, my wee apple pie. Come on, let's get busy. <laughs> trousers. Clever boy, trousers. Granny Murray's going to make you into a wobbly man. Here we go, clever boy. We'll give you a big tummy. Oh! <laughs> You look like a clown. Have a walk. Wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> oh, right, sit in your bottom and I'll give you a spin. Ooh, is that good fun? Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got Junior, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Bobby with Ty. Hello there. Come on, my treasure. Go. Oh. oh, my goodness me. What have you been doing? Well, we've been dressing Junior up as a wobbly man. Shh. A wobbly what? Oh, a wobbly man. No, don't ask. Oh, here. Why don't you dress Claude up as a wobbly man? <laughs> And we can wobble over to a chair. Oh, okay. Wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> oh, do you know I love wobbly people? They really make me laugh. <laughs> oh, look at those trousers. Oh, they're huge, aren't they? You could fit a whole circus inside them. <laughs> I wouldn't fancy wearing pants that big. It's getting so hot and close, isn't it? Oh, it is hot and sticky. Yes, you're right, darling. Mm, it's so hot. I think there's going to be a thunderstorm. Do you think? Oh, I love thunder. You do? Mm. Oh, I don't. I get really scared in thunder. Oh, poor wee darling. Mm. In fact, I'm a bit worried about Kai in case he gets scared in the thunder. Oh, not at all. When things get scary, think of something funny. <laughs> right. And don't you worry about Kai. Whatever the weather, we'll have a wobbly good time. <laughs> <gasps> Talking of wobbly good times, look at Claude. Oh! <laughs> Oh, hello, Mr Wobbly Claude. <laughs> what a funny wobbly person you've made. <laughs> it's for you, Mummy. What's it for? To make you laugh. To make me laugh. Let's have a go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really funny, my darling. I wouldn't go outside like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I think it might be a bit hot for this tonight as well. Whew. Oh, thank you, Kai. I'm going to take that to work. Right, I'll see you in the morning. Come here. 
You're a good boy. Come on. Night night. Night night. Now remember, when things get scary, think of something funny. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Well, you keep a wee eye on Bobby and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm running really late today. What's the quickest way for me to get to work? Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on a bus. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the bus lanes. Rolling, rolling, rolling down the road. Whining, 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 drive the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Rolling, rolling, rolling through the streets. I'm squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. But before I do anything, I need to change into my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. Whew, it's warm tonight. I'm hot already. Haven't even started work yet. Bobby! <laughs> oh, hello, Rudy. Grab a seat. Oh, great. Oh, I'm glad you're here, Bobby. Oh, do you know, it's been so hot today, hasn't it? I thought me shoes were going to melt and then me feet would stick to the pavement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but seriously, Bobby, I had so much ripe fruit left over on me stall, I thought I'd use some of it to make you a smoothie. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rudy. I love smoothies. Mm. Yeah, and I'll put it in a flask to keep it nice and cool and fresh for you. Ooh, I think I'm going to need to keep cool. I think it's going to thunder. Oh, I love the thunder. All them crashes and bashes and rumbles and tumbles. <laughs> it's a laugh, isn't it? <laughs> I'm glad you think so. <laughs> Do you know what I have been thinking? When it's hot on days like today, the chickens lay boiled eggs. That would be no yolk. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Bobs. I'll see you later. I see you, Rudy. Bye. Oh, and thanks for the smoothie. That's all right. Oh, he's dead funny, him, isn't he? I hope you're having as much fun as me, Kai. I love to skip in river seeping. That's a good boy. See how many you can squeeze in. And granny Murray will pop these wee poppers. Look at this guy. Oh, <laughs> what do you think's missing? Wobbly wobbly. A head. A head. That's right. <gasps> wobbly wobbly wobbly. Wobbly wobbly wobbly. <laughs> what do you think mummy would say? She would laugh. Would mummy laugh? <gasps> do you think mummy's having a good laugh at her work just now? Come, Mummy. Oh, Dr. Juno. Hiya, Bobby. Hiya. Is this hot? I brought you a bottle of water. Oh. <laughs> Don't forget to drink a bit of water right through the night as you work. Actually, Rudy popped by before with a fruit smoothie. Would you like to try some? Oh, I love smoothies. Mm. Oh, that looks lovely. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, classic. <laughs> oh, I better go and see you later. <laughs> Ta-ra. Oh, well, it's been a fun evening so far, but I think I'd better get on with some work. Bobby Boogie Woogies as she cleans and mops the bosses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and beaming buses, bye bye soon. Cleaning while you're dreaming, making ready while you're in bed. Glee. Dazzle the day away, swinging to the city.
city looking pretty and radiant The hubcaps gleam, the paintwork shines I rather see double decker look so fine The driver she drives, collecting the fares Leaving then arriving she will get you there This boss is stopping from picking up and putting down This boss is shining is the talk of the town Bobby Boogie Woogie's flipping over, flipping under Running round and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes And Bobby walks the moonwalk as she robs and wipes the windows Dusting through the starlight, adding sparkle as she goes Polishing the buses so they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead Oh, look at that! I suppose I better clean it up. Oh, mind you, I don't want to get my clothes all covered in paint. I'll go and have a look in the boffy and see if I can find something to wear. Ah! Oh! These are perfect! I'll just put them on. <gasps> oh, thunder! My Kai's all right. <laughs> Look at your wobbly man. Oh, he's funny, isn't he, Kai? <gasps> oh, did you hear that thunder? Over you go, wobbly wobbles. Over you go. I hope your mum's enjoying the thunderstorm as much as we are, Kai. Trousers. It's all right if I hang out here with you, just just for a bit. Well, it's a thunder. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. Oh! <laughs> oh! I've been working hard all night. I've got a great big mess to clean up out there in the depot, and there's this huge thunderstorm going on. Oh! oh. Where did the time go? At five o'clock, Kai and I arrived at Granny Murray's. The children dressed Claude in a pair of big trousers. He did look funny. I told Granny Murray that I thought there might be a thunderstorm later in the evening and that Kai might be a bit scared. But the truth is, it's me that doesn't like the sound of thunder. Kai gave me a funny hat. When I put it on, it made Granny Murray laugh. At six o'clock, Rudy came to visit me at my workplace. He was full of fun and games. He brought me a flask filled with a fruit smoothie to help keep me cool while I worked. At seven o'clock, Dr Juno stopped by. She gave me a bottle of water to keep me cool. We both had a little sip of Rudy's fruit smoothie. We got it around our mouths and it made us both look really funny. At nine o'clock, I spotted a big mess of spilt paint all over the bus depot floor. I was looking for some clothes to wear to help keep me clean while I mopped up the wet paint when the thunderstorm started at last. The thunder was very loud and the rain drummed on the roof of the depot. It was really noisy and I was scared. At 10 o'clock, Tina came to the bus depot. She told me that she didn't like being out and about in the storm and that she was scared of the thunder too. Now remember, when things get scary, think of something funny. When things get scary, think of something funny. Well, Tina's scared and so am I. We need to think of something funny. So funny, I shall be. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. 
Thunder. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> hey, I wonder how my little flash of lightning's doing. I hope he isn't scared by this thunderstorm. Night and night, my wee angel. Mum will be here before you know it. Give Granny Murray a big thank you hug, don't you? Thank you. Oh, come here, yeah. my treasure. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. When things get scary, think of something funny. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> come on, you tricksters. Time to get home. Oh, come on, Kai. Let's go. Bye, bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Right. Come on, Twinkle. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, eating, laughing, baking, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a wobbly person, because I felt we could all do with a good laugh. Bobby stopped by with Kai and told me that as it had been such a hot day, there might be a thunderstorm later in the evening. She warned me that Kai might be a bit scared, but it was really Bobby who was scared of thunder. I told her not to worry and have fun. After Bobby set off to work, I made wobbly dolls with Kai. <laughs> they made us laugh and laugh. Later on, there was a big thunderstorm and while the thunder rumbled, our two wobbly dolls did a funny wobbly dance. Kai thought it was brilliant. Meanwhile, Bobby remembered what I said. When things get scary, think of something funny. So Bobby dressed up as a wobbly person and got on with her work in a funny wobbly way. Bobby and Tina had a right old laugh and before they even knew it, the thunderstorm had passed. <laughs> All quiet now, but I'm rather hoping for another thunderstorm. The last one was the wobbliest fun I've had for ages. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has one at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, today we've got Junior, but don't just sit there, my wee rocker. Come on, let's get moving, baby. <laughs> Up with your feet. Yahoo! Air guitar. Boom, boom. Someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Bobby. Yes, with Kai. Bobby. Hi, Granny Hello. Murray. <laughs> we have been having a great laugh playing air guitar, haven't we, Junior? Oh, wow. I love playing air guitar. Come on, Kai. Rock on. Oh, go for it, Bobby. <laughs> Why don't you dress Claude up as a pop star? Don't forget his guitar, boys. And we can rock and roll to the chairs, Bobby. Good yeah. idea. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Do you know what? Sometimes when I'm at work, I pretend to be a pop star. Come on, baby. Yeah, rock on, baby. Yeah, rock on, baby. Woo! Come on, baby. Oh, darling, what a rocker. But what I love most about singing in the depot is because it's so big, you get these brilliant echoes. Echoes, echoes, echoes. <laughs> I love them. Echoes can make ordinary sounds sound spooky. Spooky, spooky. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, oh. sorry. <laughs> look, I really think I'd better get off to work. Oh, will you look at Claude? <laughs> Oh, Claude, you look cool, man. Uh -huh. Here, Mummy, I want you to play the best when you're at work. Oh, Let's thanks, see. Kai. You ready? Come on, baby. <laughs> Woohoo! We'll see rock on, baby. I'll play this and I will think of you. Oh, come here, give us a hug. Mm -hmm. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> come on. Bye. Now remember, echoes can make ordinary sounds sound spooky. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Well, you keep a wee eye on Bobby and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views I'm stepping along, I'm swinging my arms I'm singing my way through the city's charms Getting Which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! OK, that way. To the bus depot. I'm on my way to work today. I look in this way and that away. Oh, hello, Digger. Hello, Drain. Oh, hello, lamppost. Hello, Drain. Hello, post box. Oh, hello, plane. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah! OK, that way, up the steps. You told me the way I go. Thank you. You showed me the way. OK, I've arrived at work. What's next? Mm-hmm, that's right. I need to change into those work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. <laughs> I wonder if I could really play the guitar. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you... sound. It's a bit like playing guitar and having your very own backing band. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Bobby and the Buses with her amazing backing group, Echo! Come on, baby! I said rock on, baby! <laughs> Hello, Dr. Gina. <laughs> Having fun? <laughs> Just messing about a bit. How are you? Absolutely exhausted. Oh, you poor thing. I've had such a hard day. I was worried I'd fall asleep peddling my bike. So I thought I'd come and see you and ask for a quick cup of tea to revive me for the journey home. Of course. <laughs> After you. Oh. Make yourself comfy and I'll bring you up a nice cup of... Oh, you angel. <laughs> you just relax there. Oh, I could flop here all night. How's Kai? Kai? Oh, he's a star. <laughs> All safe and snug with Granny Murray. <laughs>
Would you like to be an echo? Okay, okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm silly. I'm silly. Woo, Kai. Woo, Kai. Your mummy had an echo at the bus depot too. Mummy. Oh, mummy. <laughs> Thinking of you, Mummy. Oh, Kai. <coughs> what on earth is that noise? <laughs> hey, Dr. Juno, can you hear that funny no... <sighs> oh, look. It's Dr. Juno. Oh, she's fallen asleep. <coughs> and she's snoring. <laughs> um, Dr. Juno? <coughs> Dr. Juno, wakey-wakey. Huh? Oh, what's the emergency? Oh, Bobby. Sorry, I was dreaming. <laughs> you were snoring. I don't snore. Oh, well, if you weren't snoring, you were making a really funny sort of a noise, just like this. <laughs> was I doing that? <laughs> yes, oh. you were. Well, that's not snoring exactly. No? No, oh, it was the air I was breathing in causing a vibration of the soft palate of the roof of my mouth, resulting in a hoarse noise. Mm. Vibration, eh? Well, I'd really better get back to work. Oh, then I'd better go home and get to bed before I fall asleep again. <laughs> oh, thanks for the cup of tea and the nap. <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome. Bye. Bye. Right, time for me to get on with some hard work. Bobby Boogie Woogies as she cleans and mops the bosses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and beaming buses, bye-bye soon. Clean in while you're dreaming, making ready while you're in bed. Gleaming while you're sleeping, dawn by dawn. Lining up all shining, they'll be leaving for the day. Dazzle the day away Swing into the city looking pretty and radiant The hot caps gleam, the paintwork shines A river sea double decker looks so fine The driver she drives, collecting the fares Leaving then arriving she will get you there This boss is stopping from thinking of the pudding down This boss is shining, is the talk of the town And Bobby Boogie Woogie's flipping over, flipping under Running round and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes. And Bobby walks the moon walk as she robs and wipes the windows. Dusting through the starlight at its sparkle as she goes. Polishing the buses so they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead. That's that done. Bobby! Oh, oh, Mickey John! You made me jump. Sorry. I was uh, just wondering if you'd seen Nurse Hendry. No, I don't think so. Why? Well, he was supposed to be getting the bus to my place for supper and a game of billiards, but uh, he never turned up. Well, I think they were quite busy down the hospital tonight. Maybe he's just got held up. Yeah, that's probably it. Well, I'm sorry to trouble you. Say hi to Kai for me. I will. Bye! <laughs> Mickey John says hi, Kai. Hey, it must be nearly time for you to go to sleep. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle, that's for me. Dance to your daddy, sing to your mummy, dance to your daddy, to your mummy sing. Thou shall have a fishy on a little dishy, thou shall have a fishy when the boat comes in. My mummy would take this song. Would she, darling? What are you doing now, mummy? What on earth is that noise? Oh, that is spooky. Oh, no, I don't like that noise at all. It's scary. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether I should run or scream. What could be making a noise like this? Where did the time go? At five o'clock, 
I took Kai to stay with Granny Murray. We had great fun playing air guitar. I told Granny Murray that when I sing at the depot, there's a brilliant echo, and Kai gave me a toy guitar to bring to work. At six o'clock, I was playing with the toy guitar when I noticed that my singing was echoing around the bus depot. It sounded amazing. Dr. Juno was so exhausted cycling home from work that she called in for a cup of tea. At seven o'clock, I heard a funny noise. It was Dr. Juno. She'd fallen asleep and she was snoring. At eight o'clock, I'd just finished some hard work when Mickey John called in to ask if I'd seen Nurse Hendry. He'd been supposed to be getting the bus to see him, but he hadn't turned up. At nine o'clock, I was getting on with my work when I heard this really spooky noise. Now I don't know what to do because it's really frightening me. Now remember, echoes can make ordinary sounds sound spooky. Echoes can make ordinary sounds sound spooky. Well, that certainly sounds spooky. But maybe it's just an ordinary noise like Dr Juno snoring. Yeah! Yeah, that is a snore. Definitely um, an echoey snore. Somebody must be fast asleep here in the bus depot. I've just got to find out who it is and where they are. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat that clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Miss Henry. Miss Henry, wakey wakey. What? Is it time to take... Bobby? Am I dreaming? Where am I? You're on a bus, asleep and snoring. I never snore. Oh, of course not. I don't. Oh, right. Uh, I suppose it was just a, a result of the air that you were breathing in, you know, um, causing a vibration on the roof of the soft palate of your mouth. Exactly. I work so hard all day and I'm so tired. I must have fallen asleep on my way to Mickey John. Hello? Hello, Mickey John. I've been wondering where you got to. Mystery solved. He was asleep. Oh, you must have been really exhausted to fall asleep on the bus and miss your stop totally. How did you know he was here? He was... vibrating. You mean he was snoring? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll drive you home. Bye, boy. Thanks, Bobby. Bye. Hey, I wonder if my little boy is snoring. One. Mummy will be here in the morning. I wish I was with you, Mum. Mum's here, my darling. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Hello, Mummy. Oh. Have you had a great time? You betcha. I think you should give Granny Murray a big thank you hug, don't you? Oh, come here, my treasure! <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Echoes can make ordinary sounds sound spooky. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> come on, time to get home. Oh, come on, Kai. Let's go. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Right. Come on, Twinkle. Let's talk about our time away. <laughs> And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, baking, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. But what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a pop star because we were having a great time listening to music and playing air guitar. Claude looked really cool. Bobby and I had a good laugh talking about echoes and Kai gave Bobby a toy guitar to take to work. Later on, Kai and I played an echo game. 
And then at bedtime, I sang Kai a lullaby. He really loved that. When I went to check on Kai later, he was snoring softly and sleeping peacefully. And when Bobby came to pick him up in the morning, she told me that she had remembered what I said about echoes making ordinary noises sound spooky. And it had saved the day. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. <laughs> who's here today? Well, we've got Zane and we've got a deal. But don't just sit there, my angels. Come on, let's get busy. What's on our shelves today? Oh, yay! <laughs> oh, my woo! Oh, a nice Well, we've got a deal and we've got Zane. Someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. <laughs> Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, it's Bobby. Yes, with Kai. Bobby. Hi, Murray. Like fun. Oh yes, it is. But guess what I'm doing with the children later? Um, I don't know, Granny Murray. Watching telly? No, we're going to the castle to watch the fireworks. Oh yes, of course. It, it's tonight, isn't it? Yes. Oh, here, darling. Why don't you dress Claude up, ready for the fireworks and nice warm clothes? <laughs> and uh, we could go and take a nice warm seat over there. Oh, good idea. <laughs> Oh, I do like to be side to see. Granny Murray, do you think that it's all right for Kai to go to the festival firework display? Oh, yes. Why not? Well, he might get scared by all the loud bangs. It's just that when I was little, I was woken up in the middle of the night by a firework display right outside my house. Oh, were you frightened? Yeah. I didn't know what all the noise was. There was all these loud bangs and whooshes and flashes and pshh. Oh, what happened then? Well, I burst into tears and my mum came rushing up the stairs to see what the matter was. She told me, you know, there was nothing to be frightened of. It was just the fireworks. And then she took me to the window and, and we watched the fireworks outside. I stopped crying then. You see, it just goes to show, Dumpling, as long as you understand what's happening, there's nothing to worry about. So, will you explain to Kai all about the fireworks and... Yes, yes. Oh, oh. Will you look at Claude? He looks ready for the firework display. <laughs> oh, you're looking nice and warm there, Claude. <laughs> right, well, I'd better get off to work. Bye bye, Kai. There you go, Mummy. Oh, wow! My very own sparkler toy. Thanks, Kai. I'm going to take that to work with me. Okay, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Oh, I've just had a thought, Granny Murray. Mm -hmm. If Kai's going to be going to bed late, you might get a bit hungry. Oh, don't worry about that. Dr Juno's coming round later to fry up some sausages on the barbecue. Oh, I am a fuss pot, aren't I? <laughs> right, bye, darling. Come on. Bye. Now, remember, there is nothing to fear when you know and understand. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> now, you keep an eye on Bobby and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views I'm stepping along, I'm swinging my arms I'm singing my way through the city's charms Getting Which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! OK, that way. To the bus depot. I'm on my way to work today. I look in this way and that away. Oh, hello, Digger. Hello, Drain. Oh, hello, 
love post. Hello, train. Hello, post box. Ooh, hello, plane. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah! OK, that way, up the steps. You told me the way I go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. Right, what's first? That's right, I need to put on my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. Crumbs, what a grubby bus. Looks like I'm going to be busy tonight. No, Samson, these aren't for you. Hello, Doctor, do you know? Hello, Bobby. Hello, Samson. <laughs> what are you after, then? Well, he hasn't had his tea yet and he can smell the sausages. Sausages? Oh, yes. I remember Granny Murray saying that you were going to go around and cook sausages after the fireworks. That's right. Oh, I was wondering what kind of sausages Kai likes. Well, Kai likes any sausages, he likes them all. So he hasn't got any allergies, has he? Anything that brings him out in a rash? No, no, don't worry, Dr Juno. Kai doesn't have any allergies. Thanks, Bobby. I'm going to go over to Granny Murray's. I'm going to make sure that Kai gets an extra special Barbie. Oh, thanks, Dr Juno. <laughs> Come on, Samson. Bye, Samson. Come on. <sighs> God, I wonder if Kai has left to see the fireworks yet. I love to skip in rivers and pink, rivers and pink, go by the sea. I love to skip in rivers and pink, go rivers and pink, go that's for me. Ooh, is everybody toasty warm? Are <laughs> we ready to go and see the fireworks? Yeah! Ooh, spooky wookie! <laughs> <laughs> now, listen to this, darling. There's nothing to be scared about. It's just loud bangs. If you're scared with any of the noise at the fireworks, then you just hold Granny Murray's hand, OK? I love to skip in rivers and pingle, rivers and pingle by the sea. I love to skip in rivers and pingle, rivers and pingle, that's for me. Oh, I hope you won't be too frightened by all the loud bangs, Kai. Right, time for me to get on with some work. Evening, Bobby. Oh, hello, Mickey J. What are you doing here? I'm off to see the festival fireworks, actually, but I knew you'd be working, so I brought in some spicy sausages for you to nibble at while you're working. Oh, thanks. Oh, they smell lovely. I do like a bit of spice in my life. <laughs> it's a shame you're not going to be able to see the fireworks. Oh, I know, but if I don't work, then where does the money come from, eh? You're right. No, oh, actually, stand here a moment, Bobby. Stand here. Now, uh, bend down, bend down. Now, stand on tiptoes. Castley's over there. There, you'll see everything. I can't see a thing. That's because the fireworks haven't started yet. But when they do, you'll have a grandstand view. Oh, that is fantastic. Nice one, Mickey J. <laughs> see you later. Oh, bye, Mickey J. That is brilliant. OK, well, if I want to have time to watch those fireworks, I'd better get my work done. Bobby Boogie Woogies as she cleans and mops the buses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and beaming buses, bye-bye soon. Dazzle the day away Swinging to the city Looking pretty and radiant The hot caps gleam The paintwork shines A river sea double decker Looks so fine The driver she drives Collecting the fares Leaving then arriving She will get you there This bus is stopping from Picking up and putting down This bus is shining It's the talk of the town And Bobby Boogie Woogie Slipping over, flipping under Running round and scrubbing up She really is a wonder Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes. And Bobby walks the moonwalk as she robs and wipes the windows. Dusting through the starlight, adding sparkle as she goes. Polishing the buses so the 
they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead. <sighs> Job done. Well, hey, it's the fireworks. They've started. <laughs> Bobby. I, oh, I, oh, hello, Tina. <laughs> it's Samson. Well, he was scared of the fireworks and he ran away because he didn't understand what was going on. So have you seen him? Um, Samson? Uh -huh. No, no, sorry, Tina. Oh, 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 did you see that one? Oh, dear. Never mind. I'll go and ask Ruddy and Louie. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I hope you're watching, Kai. There's no need to be scared of those loud bangs. this granny body it's the grand finale <laughs> oh i wonder if your mum's been watching them too kai oh, what an amazing festival firework display i hope you had a good view too kai right i think it's time for me to have a cuppa and some of mickey john's spicy sausages what was that Is there someone in here? <gasps> Look at this mess! Right. Whoever you are, I want you to know that I have just cleaned this place from top to bottom. Ooh, what is going on? Where did the time go? At five o'clock, I dropped off Kai at Granny Murray's. The children dressed up clothed in warm clothes because they were all off to the castle to see the festival fireworks. I was worried that Kai might be scared of the loud bangs and not understand what was happening. But Granny Murray said she'd hold his hands and tell him what was going on. At six o'clock, I got to work. There was a lot of mess to clean up. Dr Juno called by with Samson to check whether Kai liked sausages. At eight o'clock, Mickey John popped in with some special spicy sausages just for me. He worked out where I could stand to get a good view of the firework display, even though I was at work. At ten o'clock, the fireworks started. I went out to watch them. Then Tina arrived in her taxi. Samson had run off because he didn't understand what was going on and he was scared of the fireworks. At 11 o'clock, I watched the last big fireworks bang and pop and fizz. Then something in the bus depot started making loud crashes and clatters. The depot was a mess. I was scared. Now remember, there is nothing to fear when you know and understand. OK, all right, calm yourself down, Bobby. Just try to understand what is going on, and then, well, you'll stop worrying. Hang on. Tina said that Samson got scared by the fireworks and he ran away. And, well, this is exactly the sort of mess that a dog would make. So, it, it must be Samson. He must be hiding somewhere here in the depot. OK, we've got to find him. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it, I've got to beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it, I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? It's a show to her friends, she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do You were worried, weren't you, because you didn't understand what was going on? But it was only the loud pops and bangs from the fireworks. Now that he understands what's happening, he isn't scared anymore. And nor am I. Oh, thank goodness you found Samson! Everyone was so worried. So was I, for a while. <laughs> until I realised it was just Samson. Right, let's get you back to Granny Murray's. And... To Dr. Juno's sausages. Off you go, Samson. Come on. Good dog. <laughs> oh, and tell Kai I'll see him in the morning. Will do. <laughs> Come on, boy. Okay, clearing up time. I hope you're gonna enjoy those sausages, Kai. Look who's come home to Granny. <laughs> 
money, money. Oh, Samson, welcome back. Oh, I'm sorry the fireworks scared you. Oh, I think he understands now, especially when he sees the sausage I've kept for his tea. <laughs> Oh, oh I think we'll get you tucked in in a wee minute, won't we? And Mummy will be back in the morning to pick you up. Mommy! Your mum's here, Kai. Hiya, Kai. Hello, Mummy. Oh! <laughs> You look like you've had a smashing time. Oh, we should have. Are you going to say thanks to Granny Murray? Thank you, Granny Murray. Clever boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. There is nothing to fear when you know and understand. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on, you'd better be off. Come on, you. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Right. Come on, Twinkle, let's talk about our time away. <laughs> and I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was hopping, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, using things and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. But what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in warm clothes so that he was ready to see the festival fireworks display. Bobby was worried that Kai would be scared by the loud noises of the fireworks. I told Bobby that I would explain all about them. A bit later, me and the children tested our torches. Ooh, scary! <laughs> then I took the children to see the festival fireworks. They were fantastic! But the noise of the fireworks frightened Samson and he ran away. Samson hid in Bobby's bus depot when he made a bit of a mess. Bobby found Samson by following his painty paw prints and told him about the fireworks. Then Samson wasn't frightened anymore. Dr Juno was so pleased to find Samson again that she gave him some of her sausages for his tea. Do you like this toy? <laughs> Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Zane and we've got a deal. But don't just sit there, my angels. Come on, let's get busy. <laughs> What's Granny Murray got in her shelf? That's the wings. Sweet them all on. Well, we've got a deal and we've got Zane. But someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Bobby with Kai. <laughs> Well, you look what the wind's blown in. Oh. All these leaves. Well, you never know what else the wind may blow. Mm. It's blown into a storm. Oh, I know. <gasps> Guys, why don't you dress Claude up ready for a storm? <laughs> Actually, Granny Murray, oh, yes. can I have a quick word? Oh, of course. Let's blow ourselves over here. <laughs> Woohoo! Can't do that one. I can't do that one. Yes, darling. Well. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about Kai tonight. Well, why is that? Well, it's all this howling wind and bangs and crashes. What if he gets frightened in the middle of the night? Don't worry, Bobby. I'll be with Kai. We'll be fine. I'll just turn the wind into an exciting game. <laughs> a game? Yes. Oh, you never know what the wind may blow. <laughs> oh, look at Claude. <laughs> all nice and snug. Oh, but you could do with a new broom, Claude. Oh, I know. This one's on its last legs. Here's your mummy. Oh, wow. Thank you, Kai. I'm going to take that to work with me. <laughs> right. Bye, lovey. I'll see you in the morning. Come on. Now, remember, 
You never know what the wind may blow. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> now, you keep an eye on Bobby and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views I'm stepping along, I'm swinging my arms I'm singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way Okay, which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! Okay, that way. To the bus depot. I'm on my way to work today. I look in this way and that away. Oh, hello, digger. Hello, drain. Oh, hello, lamppost. Hello, train. Hello, post box. Oh, hello, plane. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah! Okay, that way, up the steps. You told me the way I go. Thank you. You showed me the way. Thanks for helping me get to work, but now I've got to get busy. Yep, it's time to change into my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. What was that? Oh, it's just the wind rattling around the depot again. I don't like this weather at all. Kai's leaf. I'm going to look after that for later. Bobby? Bobby? Oh, thank goodness it's just you two. Hello, Rudy. Hello, Louis. Hi, Bobby. Did we give you a fright? Yeah, just a bit. Sorry about that. We just wanted to show you this. Oh, that is gorgeous. Where'd you get it from? I made it myself. I thought we might start selling some toys on the fruit and vegetable as a sideline. Can I have a go? Of course. Just give the sides a squeeze. <laughs> wow. Are you going to make any more? That's what I wanted your advice about. I thought you might show it to Kai and see whether he likes it. And if he does, then we can make lots more for the stall. Of course I will. Wow, that window really rattles. Maybe you should tie it up with some string. I've got some string. Oh, thanks, Louis. I'll sort that out in a mo. And if you could show that to Kai, let me know whether he likes it. Will do. Thanks, Rudy. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Up and round. Up and round. It really is fun. Ooh. I do hope Kai's going to be all right in all of this wind. I love to skip in Listen to that windy night, Kai. I hope your mum's wrapped up warm inside. <laughs> what are you doing now, mummy? Mm -hmm. I love to skip in river that's for me. <laughs> oh, I guess you're getting ready for bed now, aren't you, Kai? Right, time to get on with some work. Sorry! 
I hope I didn't startle you, Bobby. Well, you did a bit. I was passing and my newspaper blew out of my hand and into the depot here. My broom's broken. Ah, no probs. I'm a man of action. I always carry sticky tape. <laughs> this wind is really putting the wind up me. Me too. Hmm. Soon have this back in action. Brilliant. There. Well, I better be going there. Uh, see you later, Bobby. Don't work too hard. Bye, Mickey J. Oh, this wind gets right through you. Perhaps a spot of hard work will warm me up. Bobby boogie woogies as she cleans and mops the buses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and beaming buses by by soon. Cleaning while you're dreaming, making ready while you're in bed, gleaming while you're sleeping, dawn by dawn. Lining up all shining, they'll be leaving for the day ahead. Ready to dazzle the day away. Swinging to the city, looking pretty and radiant. The hubcaps gleam, the paintwork shines. A river sea double decker looks so fine. The driver she drives, collecting the fares. Leaving then arriving, she will get you there. This bus is stopping from picking up and putting down. This bus is shining, it's the talk of the town. And Bobby Boogie Woogie's flipping over, flipping under. Running round and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder. Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes. And Bobby walks the moonwalk as she robs and wipes the windows. Dusting through the starlight, adding sparkle as she goes. Polishing the buses so they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead. <laughs> oh, I feel much better now. Singing really cheers you up, doesn't it? Oops, I spoke too soon. Rums. A tree branch has snapped off and blown in, and now it's blocking up the door. Ooh, what a horrible, scary night this is. Oh dear, I do hope Kai's not getting too frightened in this horrible storm. Well, I finished the story, Kai. <laughs> well, there was a captain on the ship. And it was a stormy night, and the wind was going ooh, ooh, and the rain was going patter, 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 battering down. And inside the ship, shipmate Kai and shipmate Granny Murray, oh, oh, they were frightened. And the captain said, Get yourself safe. So shipmate Kai and shipmate Granny Murray ran down into the very bottom of the ship, and they jumped into their jammies, and they got in their hammocks, and they went to bed while the wind still blew. Ooh, ooh, but shipmate Kai and shipmate Granny Murray were snug and warm and safe in their hammocks and the ship rocked from side to side and it put shipmate Kai to sleep back and forward. <laughs> I wonder if you're asleep yet, Kai. <gasps> oh, this wind! Oh, and look at all these leaves. It's going to take me all night to sweep these up. Oh, and this branch is in my way as well. You're going to have to move that before I can close the door. Oh. These leaves aren't going to clear themselves away. There's my broom. Oh! That's all I need. The bus depot is even messier now than when I started work with all these leaves everywhere. And now my broom's broken again. Why is everything going wrong? Where did the time go? At six o'clock this evening, I dropped off Kai at Granny Murray's. Granny Murray and the children were sweeping leaves. Then they dressed up Claude in storm clothes. He looked very warm. At seven o'clock, I was ready to start work. The 
wind was really loud outside. I got a fright when the door opened, but it was only Rudy with Louie. He showed me a brilliant toy acrobat that he'd made. At eight o'clock, I was working and the wind was louder than ever. Mickey John saw my broom was broken and tried to fix it. At nine o'clock, I was cleaning the bus wheels and suddenly the branch snapped off and blocked the door. At 10 o'clock, the door flew open and the wind blew in loads of leaves. The depot is a mess. And remember, you never know what the wind may blow. Of course! The wind blew down this branch and I think I know just how to make a new broom. I will soon have this place looking spick and span. Come on, it's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. The depot has never looked so clean and tidy. And just in time. Here comes the inspector. Phew. Oh, Kai's leaf. I hope the wind isn't keeping you awake, Kai. You've had a smashing time. Oh, we should have. Are you going to say thanks to Granny Murray? Thanks. Clever. Boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. You never know what the wind may blow. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on, you'd better be off. Come on, you. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Right. Come on, Twinkle. Let's talk about our time away. <laughs> and I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things, and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. But what was really special about today? Well. Claude was dressed in warm clothes against the storm. The storm meant that there were lots of leaves to sweep up. Bobby was worried that the wind would frighten Kai, but I told her not to worry. Bobby went off to work and Kai got ready for bed. Then we both sang a song about the wind. We laughed and laughed. Kai hoped his mum was inside away from the wind. When it was time for bed, I told him a story about being on an old sailing ship out at sea. It was very windy, but we imagined that we were all snug and safe in our hammocks as the wind rocked us to sleep. And soon, Kai was asleep. The outside wind didn't bother him, and I think he was dreaming of Bobby. Bobby didn't have such a good time with the wind, but she gave me a new broom. I'll be able to sweep up all the leaves in the yard with Bobby's new broom. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. I love to sip in Riverty Tingle, Riverty Tingle Pie. I love to sip in Riverty Tingle, Riverty Tingle, that's for me. Come on and get on down to the city, the city. where the fairy folks dance the blues. Time to call on Granny Mo.